Hey, what's up everyone? Koban Ramani 456 here today, continuing my playthrough on Shadow the Hedgehog for the Nintendo GameCube. So, last time we did the third and fourth missions for the Pure Dark Story, but now we are going to continue on and do the fifth and sixth missions. So yeah, this is pretty much the final part of the Dark Story, so if you all are enjoying this playthrough, make sure to go ahead and keep on hitting that like button. Let's see if we can get this video to 2,000 likes, I'll make sure to upload the Hero Story as soon as possible. But uh, before I actually do get into the video and start off the question of the day, just wanted to go ahead and say thank you all so much for helping my channel reach 5 hundred thousand subscribers we hit that milestone yesterday and oh my lord words cannot describe how thankful i am to every single one of you whether you be a newcomer to my channel or someone who's been watching my videos for a very long time i want to thank every single one of you for all the support like words can't describe how thankful i am at all and uh you know i, I i'm just really really blessed to have every single one of you so thank you <laughs> but, um, yeah, uh, the question of the day, though, is actually related to that. Let me know in the comments below, what should I do for, um, a 500k sub special? And also, let me know what playthrough was it that, you know, you first saw from me, or that made you subscribe to my channel. Would love to hear your thoughts, and, uh, what you all have to say in the comments below. But anyway... So what we're doing right here is, I'm actually having to backtrack because my recording messed up previously to where, you know, now I have to re-record this and I have to go through the select mode and choose a stage I want to play. So we're going to be going to the Space Colony arc and, uh, yeah, let's go ahead and start this mission. Alright, so it's time to go on to the Space Colony arc and get to the Eclipse Cannon, which is uh, the exact same weapon that Eggman used to destroy half of the moon in Song of Adventure 2. Anyway, now we're gonna go ahead and oh god, freaking hentai tentacle monster. Black Doom, once again. Anyway, go ahead and hitch a ride on one of his monsters so that we can actually destroy the upcoming obstacles in our way, as this is kind of like an on rails flying stage. Kind of reminds me of Kid Icarus Uprising at times. But uh, the mission here is to destroy the four Space Colony Arc defense systems. Once you do that, and then we have full access to the Space Colony Arc. So right here, we gotta hop, kill these things, go ahead and take their guns. And these are the defense systems, those green things right there. So you gotta destroy those so that uh, then we'll be completely finished with uh, the mission as uh, this is actually one of the easier missions in this game thankfully because honestly I was not in the mood today to be doing some super long difficult mission so I'm glad that these last two missions are quite easy the second one that well the sixth one that we're gonna have to do is kind of long but it's not that bad it's just very time-consuming at times and you gotta be careful but yeah this one Probably one of the easiest missions in the game. Probably even easier than the first one because all we gotta do right here is just pretty much find the second one. The third one's really easy to find and the fourth one is practically given to you. It's set on the pathway so it's really easy. So right here... Oh god, be careful about the turrets. Oh yeah, these green things by the way are uh, defense walls. If you get hit by those or whatever, um, you'll lose a bit of your health and whatnot. And uh, also we saw a capsule right there that looked kind of bluish. Um, that right there is uh, 
it, it, it basically replenishes your um, HP on the uh, Black Doom monster you're flying on. Anyway, there we go. That was the second one right there. Destroyed. Now we're going to go on to the third one. And uh, like I said, the third one's probably the most difficult one to find. But I believe it's actually around this corner right here. So we should not have problems reaching it. The biggest problem, though, is... Uh, how there are like these missiles in the defense system right in front of it. Now we go ahead and destroy that. Alright, now get ready to slow down. Shoot these defense systems. Because we gotta hurry and blast through this. So that we can go ahead and get to uh, this thing right here. Alright, but dang! Look at that! Nearly lost all my HP and I'm almost dead! Good lord! Okay, so we gotta be careful here for these last few... Uh, sections because if we bump into anything we may be dead yeah I'm not gonna go through the speed boosters because yeah I'm not about to die all right so the fourth and final one is right up here so all we gotta do is just pretty much fly through here shoot straight ahead and you should be able to get the last one see here I just shoot all the way back from here and before the space colony arc turrets get us. Come on, come on, come on. Destroy, destroy, destroy. Die already. There we go. And that is the fifth mission for the Dark Story. So yeah, that was the final one right there. I just slowed down because usually I'm on low HP right there. So I don't want to get shot by those turrets. So I just shoot far away and they can't really reach me. But there we go. We got ourselves an A rank. Actually, they're really well there. Not bad. Ark to headquarters! Ark to headquarters! Come in! Come in! Shadow's penetrated the Ark. He's headed toward the control room of the Eclipse Cannon. Come in, Eclipse Cannon! He must be stopped at all costs! Take him out! That's an order! 10-4! Copy that! Oh, snap, what the heck is this? Oh, God, we have to face off against the Blue Falcon. Oh, my God, it's Captain Falcon. How are we ever going to beat this dude? Okay, so I have no idea what we're even supposed to do here, because... Okay, maybe I can home attack on this dude? Oh, look at that. Okay. But I'm hardly doing any damage to him at all. So I need to be careful here. Uh, oh, there we go. But seriously, I have no idea what is going on. Okay, so how do we beat this guy? Do we just keep on the homing attack him? All right, strip him of his weapon and take it for your own. Oh, you can do that. Oh, God, yes. Okay, we need to get ourselves that gun right there. I think I see it. I see it. I see it. And now it's all within my reach and responsibilities. Oh, shoot. Oh, God, that was close. All right, where's the gun? Oh, yes. Okay. Now we can actually pick up these guns and start going ham on this dude. I've not played this, so I have no idea what to do. Alright. Here we go. There we go. Blast away! <laughs> yes. Alright, but I'm out of weapons and ammo, so I gotta find something quick. Oh, there's a gun right there. Oh, nice! We're gonna, we're gonna seriously give this dude the business. Give him the raw. Oh my god, yes! Look at that! Good lord! Alright, there we go. Nice. Okay, now we're out. Now we're out of ammo again, so. Uh, how can I. Whoa! Oh my god, how the heck do you dodge that? Good lord, that did way too much damage. Oh, hey, that's good. Okay. Can I shoot at that, or. No, it doesn't look like it. All right, got to come back up here. Shoot at him. All right, there we go. There we go. There we go. Nice, 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 nice. Destroy him already. Destroy him. Oh, God. Okay. I just need one more hit on him, or a couple more, and then I'll have a full, uh, full chaos blast gauge, and I can take him out. All right. Up. Get that. Can I shoot him from up here? No. Alright, let's go back up top again. Alright, this is it. 
This is the end. Let's go. Hold your breath and count to ten. There we go. <laughs> nope. Didn't even have the time to count to ten. <laughs> Dang. And there he is, just falling straight to earth. <laughs> so it took a little bit to concentrate there, but honestly, not that difficult of a boss at all. There's no escape for you now. All right, so that was the Blue Falcon. We defeated Captain Falcon. He will no longer be in any more Nintendo games, and yeah. <laughs> oh my God. Anyway, got ourselves a C rank. We are the Black Arms. We are here to take rule of this planet. Any attempt to resist are futile, and will result in death. You humans are so pathetic. Damn you! As of today, this planet is mine. You're crazy. We will not. Now, we will begin to exterminate all of the world's leaders who resist. Wh what? Annihilation for this planet is near. It is time to embrace the dawn of your demise and despair. I am Barack Obama, and I approve this message. <laughs> oh my god. Sir, are you all right? Never mind me. What about the people of Central City? No need to worry, sir. Orders were issued yesterday, and everyone has been evacuated to the safe zone. Very good, Commander. Now what's going on? Commander, the invaders! Estimated over a thousand black aliens inbound. They've penetrated our outer perimeter. What? According to reports, Shadow's also been sighted with the black aliens. Shadow? I don't believe it. So he's finally decided to show himself. Attention all command units! Mobilize all mech battle sections! Prepare all weapons to strike incoming vessels! Mobilize the Avalon! But sir, it's not ready yet! I don't care! We have no other option! We must protect the President and the Chaos Emeralds at all costs! Yes, sir! Shadow, damn you! It's been 50 years. Justice will finally be served! Shadow, I'm counting on you! I know, Professor. The ultimate life form born to ensure peace and justice amongst all of mankind. Now, I know what I have to do. Alright, so here we are going on to the sixth mission, which I believe is Gun Fortress, something like that. But yeah! I have to say though, I think I think what really bothers me about those character models is that their hands are bigger than their heads. I think that's probably the thing that just irks me a bit. Something about them. I hate seeing the character models in this game. They're so freaking annoying. Anyway, I'm gonna go and kill you because I can take your gun. Hey! Ha <laughs> ha! Alright, so we need to get out of here because 
What we need right now is a nice and powerful car. Yes! We need the power. We need the Jeep. We need the Hummer. Let's go! Get out of my way. Who the heck are you guys? Alright, so pretty much this section right here, we can just drive through everything and destroy everything. Like a boss, because, you know, screw the police. <laughs> screw gun. Who cares about gun? Oh, God. Alright, so we actually ran into that. That's bad. I thought we could just destroy that. Get out of my way. Good lord. All these freaking trucks and everything in my way. But yeah, honestly, this is really easy. Like, this mission, all we gotta do is just destroy these, uh... These three... I, I think it's more defense systems again. We have to destroy defense systems in the uh, Space Colony Arc. And uh, once we actually um, destroy those, then we pretty much are done with the dark story besides a uh, boss. But... Yeah, so we're there to just avoid that big boy right there. So I think those things are actually called. At least that's what I remember them from, uh... What is it, uh... That's how I remember them from Sonic Adventure 2. Anyway, checkpoint! Hey! This mission, though, is really, 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 really long. Like... It took me about, I don't know, like, maybe like a good 10... 15 minutes to get through this, so... Hopefully we don't have that much trouble. Anyway, hop out of the car, hop out of those lasers, and now we have to make our way on foot again. Lovely. But now we gotta come up here because once we do that, we can get a... Uh, okay. Where the heck do I go here? Okay. We gotta destroy these turrets. Or we gotta destroy these things right here before um, they actually destroy the turrets. Because if they destroy the turrets, then we're pretty much, you know, we have to shoot them manually or whatever with guns, so... Alright, but now that that's done, we can hop out of this. Get to all who pulls me! Wait, anyway, hop on this. Now we're up here. So... But yeah, I'm really, really glad, though, I did the uh, Dark Story next, because, you know... These missions actually aren't that bad. I haven't had too many problems with the Dark Story. I mean, like, the... The Haunted Castle one was probably the one of the more annoying ones, but besides that, it really wasn't that bad at all. Oh yeah, make sure you avoid the camera, by the way, because if the camera spots you, then uh, it will shoot at you. So, that's why it kind of has all that stuff around there. It's like, oh, avoid that and so. Alright, I'm going to go ahead and switch weapons right here. Uh, hop in the turret to go ahead and take out one of these things before uh, we actually do die. Okay, so one of them's down. But, um, get the weapons from the gun soldiers, because they're really, really good. Um, you can destroy those, uh, smaller guys with two blasts, and you can destroy the, uh, the big boys. I think that's what they're called. What, what were they called in Sonic Adventure 2? I'm pretty positive they were called big boys. You can destroy those in three hits, so they're really good. But anyway, just run away every once in a while so that, uh, you don't get killed. Okay. I could really use some more ammo. But oh well. Oh, great! Okay, now we can take a gun and just shoot like crazy because now that we have, uh, what is it? Now that we have, um, what is it? The, uh, dark gauge filled up, we have infinite ammo. So, hey! I'm gonna actually get these because we get a ton of ammo from these as well. Alright, but now that one has been destroyed, we can go and progress onward. I'm gonna hop down here. Be careful with that blue stuff. It's kind of like, what is it? Kind of reminds me of Twilight Princess, to where, uh, what is it? There's like that, I can't recall what that stuff is called. It's like this purple fog or whatever in Twilight Princess. Anyway, yeah, basically it equals instant death. Shoot this guy right there. Look at that. You're going to run into so many of these things that it's just the best thing to have, like, this big machine gun. Because, look at that. We have 137 bullets, like, of ammo. That's insane. Like, we're probably never gonna run out of ammo <laughs> with this thing. Okay, so right there, because we can shoot that. There's some more ammo. 169. Let's go. <laughs> so freaking awesome. Just like, Shadow carries this, just like, not giving a crap at all. Alright, now that dude's dead. But I gotta say, that gun is really, really good. It's just such a nice rapid fire. Or... I'm sorry, not a rapid fire, such a powerful gun, but, you know, don't really need it. Now, where the heck do we go? There was supposed to be a platform somewhere around here, I think. Where is it? Oh, there it is! What the heck? 
It was like camouflaged or whatever. Okay. Die already. Give me that. Alright, so now we have 188. Okay, now be careful here because we got a homing attack right there. Very nice. Alright, there it is. Let's go. I can, I'm still trying to remember, though, what uh, stories though, we still have left. Because I know we have to play through every single stage. But what stages do you exactly have to do in order to play through every si single stage? That's what I'm kind of clueless on right now. So I may have to watch like a playthrough or something like that in order to see what I have to do next. Anyway, come down here. Oh, and there's Rouge the Bat. Because, you know, in the previous mission, we couldn't actually... Um, in the previous mission, we couldn't actually choose which side we wanted to be on. We could only just do Dark Story. Well, yeah, now if you want to, you can just decide to be like a douche to, uh... <laughs> you can decide to be a douche to that one dude, uh, Black Doom, and just screw him over at the last minute if you want. You can do the same thing to Sonic when you play the, uh, Hero Story if you want to, and just become all of a sudden dark at the end. It's really stupid, honestly, <laughs> but, um... What I'm gonna do is... Okay, because... We're supposed to go down, because as we all saw right there, like we can go upward if we, oh god, oh well, that was close. We can go upward if we want to, but um, the reason why we're coming this way is because we're doing Black Doom's mission, so, you know, gotta do it. Oh god, what the, douches. Alright, now we're down here. Okay, this mission, this area is a bit tricky. Okay, stop right there. Alright. See right there? Look at this. Look at how many of these guys show up here all of a sudden. Oh, I shoot them right there. Alright. Already dead. Hey! Alright, I'm gonna go ahead and shoot up at that thing right there. Alright, there we go. Second defense system complete. Alright, so now we got this dude here. I think the the third one's like really easy to find too. Like we're almost done, surprisingly. Look at this! We can just destroy these guys instantly. It's so freaking awesome. Alright, there we go. Get some more ammo once again. <laughs> Alright, so Oh, this area right here. Go ahead and do the triangle jumps, because you're gonna need to get across as soon as possible. Okay. Oh god, no! I was hoping I'd have my gauge left so that I could actually make it past the area, but now we gotta do this. So this is annoying and stupid. Let's see right here, you gotta avoid the lasers, because if you don't do that, you die. Alright, but checkpoint! Alright, so we're... Okay, yeah, we're really close. Yeah, you can switch sides with uh, this handle right here, because... That way, we can avoid these guys and lasers that are shooting us. Okay, there we go. Nice, nice, nice. Men status report. Alright. I think... It's funny, like, all these sections right here to where you have to go on rails and stuff like that, or on these handles, they take, like, forever to go through. It seems like they're almost non-ending, but... <laughs> there we go, we're finally done. Good lord. Okay, Rouge is back here. Oh yeah, and someone in the comments below said last time, if you want to actually switch between missions, you can just press uh, on the control pad, um, left or right, and uh, that way you can um, just switch between missions really easily if you want to. Let's be careful about grinding. Oh god! Woo! That's close. Alright. Uh, die already. Okay. Kill all these guys. Oh god, whoa! There's a ton of them. Alright, we're out of there though. <coughs> now this is where things get really, really interesting. We gotta kill a ton of these guys. Alright. Shoot that dude right there. Okay. You gotta hurry and fill up your dark gauge though so that you can get uh, invincibility because... Oh my lord, these guys just shoot all over the place. Good lord. Alright, now we got this. Oh, that's cool. I didn't notice that. You can actually turn directions while you're static in the air, which is pretty cool. Anyway. You can go ahead and shoot these guys if you want to for extra points to get yourself, like, an A rank or whatever. Or you can just go on ahead and shoot up at the last defense core. 
And there we go. Our last and final mission is complete. So a pretty long mission, but pretty easy once you know what to actually do. And there we go. Please tell me I got an A rank. I deserve an A rank for how well I did there. I didn't even die. Good lord. That wasn't... Yeah, that was a 10 minute mission. Perfect. Oh my god. It didn't even... It kind of didn't feel like 10 minutes, but at the same time, I guess it... I can see it being... Yeah, 10 minutes. Because I think yesterday it took me like 15 minutes to go through it. But anyway... Sonic! Get out of my way. Shadow. I can't let you go. Not like this. You! You're the one who destroyed the Ark and killed everyone on it! It's time to settle this once and for all! <laughs> all right. I know what I have to do. I was born to bring order to the humans. These humans. They don't value life. They're going to pay. Pay with their lives for what they've done. You? Sonic, if you try to stop me, I'll destroy you, too. Alright then, so it looks like now we have to go against Sonic and Diablon, which is pretty much the general inside the uh, ship right now. But what we gotta do is we have to homing attack off Sonic so that we can actually, uh, we can actually homing attack onto this dude. Kind of weird. I don't know how you do this because, like, I've I've seen this boss fight before. But I've never actually done it. So what I may do is just get a weapon right here if I can find one. Screw you, Sonic! Oh, oh God! All right, well, we gotta get a bit closer to him, but I don't really want to get closer to him because I'm trying to. Uh... Okay, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Okay, are you gonna? Oh, freaking stupid Sonic, man. I hate Sonic. Okay, there we go. There we go. That's how we do it. Alright, so we got a homing attack off Sonic. And then we'll be able to... There we go. Nice, nice, nice. Okay, so that's how you do it right there. The the routine I just did there, or whatever you want to call it. Uh, you have to homing attack off Sonic. Bounce off him. And then that's how you can attack him, and then homing attack past him so that his laser won't hit you. Kind of an interesting boss fight, I must say. Um, it's actually not that bad, but it's kind of repetitive, I guess you could say. Okay, there he goes. See right there? Look at that. Okay, come on, Sonic already. There we go. Nice. So his Sonic is unsuspectingly helping us out, which is really, really great. There we go. Alright, there we go. Just keep on doing the homing attack thing. I wish we could actually get a weapon, though. Oh, God! Oh, God! Okay, he made me bounce up a little bit higher than usual. Okay, there we go. Nice, nice, nice! Alright, most of his HP is gone, I believe, so I'm gonna just wail on him right now. Okay, while he's on the ground. Defenseless! I think we're actually doing damage, or I'm not sure if I'm just destroying this freaking shield, because he's got a shield on him. Alright. Careful, though. I'm almost positive we're supposed to get some ammo somewhere, but I don't know where. Like, I may be wrong. We probably just have to keep on uh, homing attack him and then fill up our chaos blast gauge. I haven't seen a single gun anywhere. Oh, God! Alright. Keep on attacking him right there. Oh, what the heck? What the heck just happened? Oh, God. Run away, run away, run away, run away. Oh, God! Whoa, what? Oh, my... I thought there was a item capsule around there. That's why I did that. Okay, so now that we're on this second phase, I think I now know what I gotta do. So I gotta bait him to actually attack me like that by getting close to him. And then after that... I'll be able to actually homing attack onto him. So see right there, look at that. Now we can actually do damage, because he usually has a force field around him. So, back up. Alright, and then homing attack him like that. Because he leaves himself vulnerable for a few seconds when he actually attacks him. Alright, see right there. Look at that. Alright, now we're actually making some progress here. Alright, here we go. Oh god! Whoa god! Whoa! <laughs> I did not expect that blue force field to come near me. Okay. 
just come close then. Okay. All right, now we can actually only attack. There we go. Now we're actually filling up our gauge really fast too. All right, die already. Come on, try and smack me. Try and try and smack me. Oh my god! What? What happened to my homing attack? Okay, freaking stupid camera needs to work up for me though. All right, just get ready to. All right, <laughs> dang! He just slapped the crap out of Sonic. Did you all see that? Oh god! Oh god! Oh god! Whoa! That was close. Alright, now just a couple more homing attacks on them, and then we should be... Oh god. Oh god. Freaking Sonic, man! Get out of my face, man, with your freaking blue balls. Blue balls. Alright, now it's time for you to die! There we go. Alright, come on, try again. Try again, try again. I dare you to. I dare you to! Actually, what I'm gonna do is, I could have gotten a gun. I could have destroyed him like that, but I forgot about that. So, because when I have this thing, I have infinite ammo, so I could have just shot at him like crazy. But I forgot about that. Because yeah, there are guns on the outer walls of uh, this stage here, so you can you know do that if you want to. Okay, come on, already. Did you try and smack me? Oh God! All right, get out of range. All right, there we go. Nice. All right, now homing attack him. Almost done with this boss though. It's just so tedious, man. So tedious. All right. Come on, come on. Hit me, baby, one more time. Hello! Don't run away from me. All right, there we go. Okay, now if you could just back off, Shadow. Okay. Here we go, here we go, here we go. All right. Nice, nice, nice. All right, now I need them to come close. Wow, Sonic, get out of here with that bull crap. All right, now I need them to come close to me because I don't want to fly off. Yeah, I'm not going over there. Are you kidding me? I'm not crazy. Get out of here with that crap. Okay, here we go. Dang. I like came a far distance right there. Oh god. Oh god. Okay, at least I got hit right there beforehand. Alright. Alright. Come on already! Stop running away! Dang it. Alright, there we go. Ah, yes! Almost done, almost done, almost done, almost done. Alright, come on. Alright. This dude's nearly done. My lord. Took me a bit to actually figure out what to do, but then... I figured it out after a little bit. I was like, wait a second. He leaves himself open for a few seconds after he actually does that one attack with his hand. So you just gotta bait him into using that. And it'll be done. Just look at this. Look at this. Look at this. Okay, no. No. Nobody runs away from me. Oh, God. Ah! Get out of my way, Sonic. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Uh, mm, yes! Oh, got him! Finally! Woo! God, that took like a clean 15 minutes because I kept like accidentally homing attacking off the stage and whatnot. But there we go. Cannot stop me. We have defeated Sonic and Diablo. It's kind of funny how Sonic's just kind of like that dude's like side bitch. <laughs> Because he literally, he does nothing at all the entire fight except for just help you pretty much. And you don't even have to kill Sonic, it's just all about taking out Diablo. And then, oh, Sonic's laying down on the ground. Shark my match. Finally, I've got all the Chaos Emeralds. Shadow, what are you going to do with them? I'm Shadow, the Hedgehog. I was created to bring order and justice to the humans. 
With the power of these emeralds, I'm going to destroy this damn planet. This is who I am. <laughs> That is the most awkward laugh and smile like ever. There we go! That was it for the dark story. Can't believe that was actually quite easy to get through. Like, we didn't have that many problems at all. But, um, you know, glad that uh, we've got another story done. It's under our belt. So now we have only about, I believe, one more story, the hero story, and then we have to do the extra stages. So that's going to be a bit annoying. Because honestly, I don't even know. Like, if you all know in the comments below what stages I have to actually do in order to unlock the last story, let me know. Because it really, really helped me out. Because there are, like, so many freaking alternate stories. There's, like, the neutral hero story, the neutral dark story, the, uh, what is it? It's, like, it it's so stupid, man. So, so freaking stupid. I don't know. But, um, hopefully we won't have too many problems. But, yeah. Um, dark story really wasn't that bad. I've heard a lot of bad things about the hero story, so I don't know how bad that's going to be. I'm probably going to cuss my head off or something or just be screaming at the top of my lungs over all this stupid, uh, all, all, over all the stupid missions that we're going to have to go through in the hero story. Because I know there's one that's, like, supposed to be glitched out. It's really weird. But, um, yeah. So, don't really have too much to say, um, else about this game or anything like that. So I guess I'll let you all listen to the music, enjoy it, and um, yeah, I'll be right back. Oh, look at that! We unlocked the Samurai Blade. Alright, that's pretty awesome. Alright, so saving to the memory card in slot A. Alright. And there we go! That is it! For the dark story in this game. And, uh, we can go ahead back to the, um... Select mode. I actually want to see this. What, what's this all about? Uh, like... We did select mode before, so... Okay, we have... The missions, okay, so right here, if I had probably played through this neutrally, I could have gone on this pathway right there. But that's probably what I have to do. It just sucks that I can't start from this stage and then do these stages like that. I have to actually start a new story, which is pretty retarded in my opinion, but looking at this, okay, if I just do the pure hero story, then I've just got these left, these six stages, and then I'm done. That's actually not that bad. We may be finished with this playthrough quite soon, because the hero story should only take about, like, three parts, and then the other parts, I guess, like, another two parts for the six stages, so. But anyway, if you all did enjoy this video, make sure to go ahead and keep on hitting that like button. It really, really helps out a ton. Make sure to leave a comment letting me know 
what I should do for a 500k sub special and uh, what playthrough it was that made you subscribe to my channel or you know the first playthrough that you started watching or your favorite playthrough that I've done would really really love to hear what you all have to say and uh, thank you all once again for 500,000 subscribers on my channel I, I, I gotta say I'm really really blessed thank you all so much but anyway that's it for this video so thanks again for watching see you all have a good day Peace, Commander Mike.